in a series of videos I have coming up on my other channel, and possibly this channel also. I'm going to show you things like shear thread bolt failure. So the bolt, the minor uh, shank of this, is stable, pretty much, but the threads have sheared. And let's show you how this works in a video here. And I'm going to do many videos. It's on my other channel. Please uh, show some interest if you if uh, you like what you see. What I want to show you here is a fully threaded bolt. It's just a class 2 bolt or less. Put a washer on it so I can then put this bushing on it and allow it to rotate. What you're going to see is that when we make this, this nut fail, the bolt fail, the screw bolt, it's going to fail right about here right where the screw and the nut are going to intersect. So here's a washer, nothing fancy. I'm going to clamp that, put that in a vise, and I'm going to, we're going to film me rotating this. And when this fails, it could fail here, right? Or it could fail there. What could fail in the middle? It's not going to fail out here. It's nothing out there. It's the, the greatest force is right here within the first part of this nut. The first two threads. That's where we're going to see the failure. Not through elongation there, but through torque shear failure, I call it. Torque, rotational torque shear failure. We'll see. We'll see now. Okay. So here we are. I'm going to crank that guy down. Now it can slip. I've had him slip before when I've done this testing for people live. So bear with me if it slips. Let me put that towards the middle. Let the forces are greater in the middle, right? But this shouldn't torque that much. Twist. But it'll still be greater in the middle. Hmm. I said I would do it the other way, right? Let's do it that way. Now, socket, torque wrench. Now let's go ahead and set this torque wrench just as little as 10 pounds. You'll hear it click or you'll hear it break, one or the other, or you'll see it break. Let's dial that down. Let's be safe. Let's dial that down to, so we were at 10. Let's go to 5. I think it's breaking. I think it broke. No well, breaking. Proving my point already. Oops. See what happened there? See the screw turning? So what happened? We lost the threads on the uh, on the screw. That the uh, and this is what I this is what also I I state that if the threads are in a bolt and a nut are stronger than the threads in a bolt. Now, can we get that out? I, I don't know. We'll see if we can. Let's try and see if we can get that out. Bind a little, bind a little bit, bind, and then come up. Just a little bit, right? There we are. Let's take a look at that. Let's keep it there for a second. Let me grab the washer. So the washer, obviously, couldn't take that little bit of force. It, uh... Fold it over. Well, it should because the shape of it, it was it's the wrong size bolt for this spacer. Let's go. Great. Bear with me. Well, let's look at the bolt first. Let me see if I can get this darn thing to focus. There we go. So you, you can see roughly right there is where it lost the threads, right at the bolt, right at the nut. Right at the nut. That's where the forces are, and nothing happened here. The screw, the bolt, the nut always comes out stronger, in my, in my opinion. It never fails. Okay, guys. So you're looking at right there. So there's the the threads, the failed threads, and that's what it looks like. We're using a 40 power microscope, and therein lies your spinning, if you will, as you just rotate and and nothing happens. You can see right there, if we can see the profile that was created. And 
let's look if you try to unthread it it would have to there would be the bottom part of these threads back here back here let me do this where I'm pointing so it'd be the bottom part of the threads right here that would have to start biting to rotate out problem is when it kept spinning like that it didn't get it didn't create a a starter if you will let me look at the back bottom we'll look at the base of the screw this is the uh, where you start turning the bolt in you can see it has a start a start point let me rotate let me rotate some more you can see it has a start point in a moment there we go right there that's your start point. Of this is going to be a series of videos. This one will be the strip screw series or video comment. I've got a lot more data to share with you. And you'll understand it so simply that you'll be, you'll never have a strip screw again. You'll never have a strip, well, you might have a strip screw again, but you'll understand what's going on, how to possibly get it out more easily. And that's what this is all about. I hope you guys really enjoy this series of videos I'm going to do. And I'll get it down to a microscopic level, literally.